Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show you how you can create opportunities and pipelines in Go High Level. In order to use opportunities, you will first need to create pipelines. You can create multiple pipelines and you can add opportunities in different pipelines. Let's consider an example of the contact form. You have a contact form on your website and you want to generate leads using the contact form. So when someone fills up this contact form, it is going to add a new contact in your CRM and you want that contact to be added as opportunity in the sales pipeline. So you will need to create automation or the workflow using the contact form. So when someone fills up the form, it is going to create the opportunity and it is going to add that opportunity in this particular sales pipeline. So I'll show you how you can add the opportunity manually as well as I'll show you how you can create workflows to add the opportunities automatically from the contact form. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the Go High Level and I'm using a dummy sub account to show you how the opportunities and the pipelines work. So in the left hand panel you will see the option opportunities. Click on opportunities. Now before creating any opportunity, you will need to create a pipeline. So click on pipelines and now we are going to create a new pipeline. So click on create new pipeline. Let's consider that you have a contact form on your website where the new visitor will fill up the form and you will get a new lead through this contact form. And that will be, let's say a sales pipeline. So you can name it as sales pipeline. Now, if you are using a calendar on your website, then you can create a new pipeline for the calendar booking. So if someone books an appointment through the calendar, you can create a pipeline for the calendar booking. So you can create multiple pipelines and in each pipeline, you can create different types of stages or the opportunities. So I'm going to name it as sales pipeline. Now we need to add some stages to this pipeline. Now let's consider that you have created a form and you have got new contact and that will be a new lead for your business. So you can name it as new lead. So when someone fills up the form, it will be added to this particular stage to the first stage of this pipeline that will be new lead. Once you get a new lead, you're going to contact that lead. You are going to call that lead. So let's consider the next step is call the lead. Now you're going to contact the lead and when you contact the lead, you think that this contact will be a good opportunity. It is going to be a hot lead for you. So the next stage will be hot lead. All right. So I'm just giving you some examples of these stages that you can create. Now you have got the hot lead. Now what you are going to do, you are going to contact the hot lead and you're going to request for the appointment. So the next stage will be appointment requested and you have requested if the person has given you the time the appointment is confirmed then you can create a new stage appointment confirmed then you can create new stage you have you have visited the customer at their location or you have online meeting something like that and the appointment is done so meeting say meeting attended let's say you have sold some services or the customer is ready to do business with you that that is going to be a new stage for your pipelines let's consider that uh, you have sold the services so i'm going to name it as services sold if you want to add more stages you can add more stages you can move the location of these stages let's say if you want to move it up you can simply click on this arrow and it will go to the up position so you can move these stages within the pipeline. So I'm going to mark this one as the last stage and you have sold the services and that pipeline is completed. All right, so this will be the last stage and here you will see visible in funnel chart. You will see the funnel chart on the dashboard, visible in pie chart. You will also see the pie chart on the dashboard. I'll show you that. So let's click on save. So this is the first pipeline that we have created. You will see the name here if you want to create multiple pipelines you can create multiple pipelines and now if i go to opportunities you will see all these opportunities or the stages that we have created so here you'll see new lead call the lead hot lead 
then appointment requested appointment confirmed meeting attended and services sold so these are the stages in this sales pipeline if you create multiple pipelines you can filter the pipelines from here so you will see the drop down here and you can select that pipeline and you will see leads or the opportunities in that pipeline you can search for the opportunities you can sort by date added so these are the filter options date value filters menu export if you want to export you can export it now you can create opportunities manually or you can automate the opportunities as i said you have a contact form so when someone fills up the form it will go to this pipeline it will create opportunity automatically or if you want to add opportunity manually you can simply click on this button add opportunity and you can enter the name email phone number and opportunity name you can name it as the name of the person let's add new opportunity john doe is the name of this when you enter the name you will see create new contact so it's going to create a new contact there now you can add phone number here and enter the email address here now opportunity name will be the name of the person then we have one pipeline if you want to add it to another pipeline you can select the pipeline there and the stage i want to add this one add this opportunity in the new lead stage and the status will be open you will see different status here open lost one and abandoned so at any stage you can change the status of this particular lead if you think that the opportunity is not good and they have rejected then you can mark the status as abandoned or lost at the final stage when the when you sell the service to the opportunity you can change the status to won so you have won this opportunity and you have sold your services to this particular lead now you can also mention the opportunity value so this opportunity is going to give me 1500 rupees or whatever currency you have now here you will see assigned you can assign this contact lead or the opportunity to the user in this sub account opportunity source to say I manually added so i have added this source manually business name will be john whatever name of that business is and tag if you want to add a tag you can add the tag i have already created some tags contact form high level and project estimator something like that if you do not want to add tag you can keep it as it is and click create let's close it and you will see that new opportunity is created here it is manually created and this is the value of this opportunity and if you click on it you will see the details of this particular contact all right let's go back now you can change the status of this opportunity from one stage to another stage now i'm going to show you how you can create the opportunity using the automation so let's go to the forms i am on the sites and under sites we have forms and i have created one sample form so i'm going to use this form to add the opportunity automatically so this is the form let's open this form and on this form you will see i have the name phone number email address and some description so let's use the link of this form so this is the form and i want to use this contact form to create opportunities so i'm going to create automation so let's go back to the dashboard close this one go back and go to automation i already have some automations created for calendar contact form and other workflows i have already published videos on how to use the calendar contact form surveys chat widget if you want to watch those videos i'll give you the link in the description box so i'm going to create a new workflow here click on create workflow start from the scratch and just name it as all right now let's go to the trigger so we are going to add a trigger and that will be the contact form so when someone fills up the form it is going to trigger this workflow so i'm going to add the filter and form is the sample form so we are going to use this sample form so i have selected this sample form so when someone fills up the sample form it is going to trigger this workflow click save trigger now i am going to add the tag and create a new tag 
all right this is just for the understanding what tag is added to this particular lead it is not necessary to add the tag so i'm going to save the action now after that you can add multiple actions such as you can send email to the contact lead you can send sms or you can send internal notification in this workflow so i'm going to skip that part i have already created video on workflow i'll give you a link in the description box if you want to know how to add actions in the workflow now we are going to create opportunity so i'm going to search for opportunity and you will see an option here create or update opportunity click on it now in which pipeline we have only one pipeline so i'm going to select that pipeline and which stage of the pipeline so i'm going to select new lead so when someone fills up the form it will go to the new lead in this sales pipeline opportunity name will be the name of the contact so i'm going to select contact full name so here you can see the option contact and full name opportunity source will be let's say the contact form and i that will be a sample form and lead value i'm going to leave it as it is in later stages of the pipeline i can add the lead value status will be open allow opportunity to move to any previous stage in pipeline so if you want to change the status of this pipeline to appointment requested let's say if you contact the lead and they have confirmed the appointment uh, then you can move it to appointment confirmed but later they cancel the appointment they want to reschedule it then you can move this opportunity back to this appointment requested field so this is what it says allow opportunity to move to any stage in pipeline allow duplicate opportunities so if you want to allow duplicate opportunity you can mark this as enable click save action all right so we have created an opportunity let's try this one i'm going to fill up this form and let's see if that works so before that we need to publish this workflow so i'm going to enable this and click save all right so this workflow is published now let's go to the form and i'm going to refresh it you can integrate this form on the sales funnel or if you have third party website you can add this form on your website so i'm going to fill up this form so this is the name i'm going to add the phone number here and i'm going to add the email address and add the comment such as testing the form right and click on button okay so i have named it as button i can name it as submit so let's click on it thank you for taking the time to complete this form so that means the form has been submitted now let's go back to the opportunities and you will see that this new opportunity is added automatically you will see this here and this is added under new lead see if i click on it it will show all the details of this particular contact form of this particular lead you will see the description here let's go back now if you can click on this if you want to see the contact details you can click on the name of this lead and if you click on here in the middle you can see the details in this pop-up now if you want to change the position of this opportunity you can change the position from here let's say it is in new lead stage you want to change it to the meeting attended you can simply click on that stage and click update it will go to that stage otherwise you can just move it like this so when you call the new lead you are going to move this opportunity in this stage call the lead and once you think that the lead is hot and it is going to give you some business then you can move it to hot lead when you call it and the lead is not good or they are not ready to do business with you you can simply click on it and from here you can change the status to abandon or lost and it will be removed after the hot lead you have requested appointment you can move this to appointment requested then let's go to appointment confirmed and you have attended the meeting you had discussion with the lead and you have sold some services then you can move it to services sold and at the end you can mention what is the value of this opportunity for example you have got the business of 2000 rupees you can mention that here and change the status to one and click on update and you can see that the status is one 
Now, if you want to see the pie chart, you can simply go to dashboard and on the dashboard, you will see number of leads, one open lead and one lead is closed and total value is 3499 and conversion rate is 50% because we have one lead which is closed and one lead which is open. So when the second lead go through this pipeline, it, it will change the conversion rate. And here you can see the chart. This is the funnel. You can see we have two new leads. So this lead has gone through these stages. The last stage is one of rupees 2000. And you can see that one lead is still in that stage, in this new lead stage. Similarly, you can see this here, one new lead and one one. So this is how you can create the pipeline and opportunities in go high level. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.